This video introduces 802.11ad waveform generation for wireless LAN system toolbox. Here we examine 802.11ad and demonstrate how you can use wireless LAN system toolbox to generate a standard compliant waveform and simulate spectral emission mask testing. The most commonly deployed standards are 802.11a, b, g, n and ac. They operate in the 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz band with a channel bandwidth between 20 and 160 MHz. 802.11ah operates in the 900 MHz band, allowing links to penetrate walls and floors and span distances up to 1 km. 802.11ad is intended for high data, short range communications, for example streaming video between a phone and TV. It operates in the 60 GHz band where plenty of bandwidth is available, allowing for a throughput up to 6.9 gigabits per second over a single spatial stream. 802.11ad is a directional communication scheme. Within the standard documents, it is referred to as DMG, which is the terminology we use within Wireless LAN System Toolbox. To overcome the large path loss at 60 GHz, directionality is required. This is achieved using antenna assemblies such as phased arrays and beam steering at the transmitter and receiver. 802.11ad defines four different physical layers. The control phi is used to set up links before beamforming has been established, therefore it is designed to operate in very low SNRs. The single carrier phi is used for general beamforming links. The low power phi trades off coding gain for a low power consumption. And the OFDM phi is designed for high throughput links in very frequency selective channels. All four phi formats share a common packet structure. The preamble is used for synchronization. The header contains information required to decode the payload and optional AGC and training fields are appended to the packet for refining beamforming weights. In this example, we generate a standard compliant 802.11 AD waveform containing five packets. We pass this waveform through a pulse shaping filter and oversample it. Next, we apply a high power amplifier model, which introduces in-band distortion and spectral regrowth. Finally, we test that the resultant spectral emissions are within the standard defined mask. First, we create a DMG configuration object and configure it for a single carrier transmission with MCS12. We then use the waveform generator to synthesize a waveform containing five DMG packets. Each packet contains a random payload. Next, we pass the waveform through a raised cosine transmit filter to perform pulse shaping and oversample the waveform. Now we introduce in-band distortion and spectral regrowth by passing the waveform through a high power amplifier model. In this example, a RAP model is used with a back off of 0.5 dB. Finally, we evaluate the spectral emission mask of the resultant waveform. Note the out of band emissions are within the standard specified mask. Wireless LAN System Toolbox provides functions for the design, simulation, analysis and testing of 802.11 AD and other standards. Examples provided include waveform generation, transmitter measurements such as spectral emission mask and EVM, end-to-end -end link modeling with fading channel models and packet recovery.